Hey guys, this is Alpha Life Room, and I'm playing XCOM UFO Defense. This is the original game that the uh, new one was based off of. Um, I have to say, I love the new one, but I like the old one even better, mostly. And I'm gonna basically make a bunch of uh, videos about this game, uh, showing people who are interested how to play it because it's uh, has a fairly steep uh, learning curve, and um, but I think that combat is actually a lot better in in the let's see let's let's go to let's go to this let's see we have an alien ship that uh, we just uh, our radars picked up because we have this is the very beginning of the game um, and so we don't have advanced radars we can only see things that are very close to us so here's a red dot is flying over to Egypt and uh, this is our base that I set up and um, so you go to your bases I believe I haven't played this game in so long I'm not even sure what I'm doing but I love I used to play this game for hours and hours and hours and hours um, let's see uh, where is my uh, interceptor how do I Mm, gyroscope. Let's see. Five sec. How do I? Oh, I think I click on my base. I click on an interceptor, and then I click on uh, which alien ship because there might be more. Unlike the new game, or I think the new game has sometimes gives you two options to attack either either and or. In this game, it's completely random. Uh, you could get three, five, seven ships at the same time, and you just have to deal with them however you see fit. But here, this is our very first identified UFO. You know, it says one there. And so, I'm going to send my interceptor out and see if I can take him out. There's not, this isn't, this is probably a very small ship, so we can probably take it down and send our troops in there to investigate. And um, this game is, trust me, it's, um, I would say, better than the new one because of its complexity. It has a super high. Uh, steep learning curve but if you can get over that uh, the game is and it's old and it has outdated features it's kinda like slow and hard to use but if you can get it over all of that um, it's amazing it also implements the day and night cycle realistically to where you do not want to send your troops into night combat ever 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 it's a super bad idea even if the ship repairs itself and disappears and see my little ship right there is flying towards uh, uh let's, on, let's go to five seconds here and let's take a look at what, uh, how close he's gonna get yeah see this is just very painful to uh, the interface is very painful to use I don't understand how I'm not clicking on this uh, but let's go to one minute and so now they're going into combat and you can just set what kind of uh, way you want them to attack so I set this is medium He'll engage him with rockets, and so we got a hit. And this is basically stats. Like, I hope I win here. My ship was a little damaged. I think I took him down. And basically, now that this ship is down, uh, the sun is almost coming over. Um, the the crashed alien ship, and so by the time my Sky Ranger with the troops comes over there to investigate where the aliens are, uh, it's gonna be nighttime, and I can't. I can't have them fighting at night. They can't see very far, but the aliens can. So, also the, the the reason I think this game is so so amazing and I would say better in this aspect than the, the new game that came out is the enemies are actually randomly spread apart. They're sitting around the map waiting for you or moving around. And uh, the new one is like Call of Duty in the sense that your troop uh, will cross a certain line and they'll spawn. Uh, a certain number of troops that you have to deal with which means that you do not move based on how you think you should outflank that enemy because you don't want to trigger more enemies from spawning into action so what you do in the new game is keep them all your guys close together and focus fire on the one unit that they, they allow you to deal with uh, let's go ahead and click on this well, I can't right now I'm gonna have to wait for the the night time to pass over so I can send my Sky Ranger over to the 
to the crash side. But uh, yeah, in this game, you actually have to, um, because they're spread around randomly and the events are so random, it's like a realistic you know, situation, as close as a game like this can get to that. So we're going to speed this up to five minutes and see if we can go to the crash. And by the way, the alien ship is repairing itself as we speak. If I wait too long, they're going to go away, and I won't get any of the loot. I won't be able to get any of my troops experienced. Uh, right now, I'm a very basically modern like age. Well, the, the year is 1999, so this is basically like what? Uh, how many years ago? 15 years ago uh, in the future. So <laughs> the game is in the future, in the past. But uh, yeah, so here, here comes the sun, and right around... Now I'm gonna send. I'm gonna slow down time. I'm gonna send in my Sky Ranger. As you can see, this game is like a lot more difficult because you actually have to manage all of it and think through like what time do I want to attack. I definitely don't want to attack at night time. Uh, whereas in the other game, the new game, it doesn't matter. It's just more an aesthetic effect. Uh, here, you, you so you have to think through. Do I want to attack now? Probably not because it's night time and it's a huge tactical. Um, decision, but if I wait too long, the ship might leave, and I can't afford not to take that loot sometimes because it's you can get so much money from selling alien technology to government in this game that sometimes you you want to take the risk to keep your company XCOM going. So th there's a lot of like nuances in this game that you got to keep track of. Where in the new in the new one, it's just like. A lot more mainstream line kind of, which is fine. I, I totally loved it, but um, as a comparison, I think this game, if they just took this game and basically, I'm sorry for not speeding it up, I should speed it up to five so we can get there a little faster. And I want the sun to be a little bit brighter as I get there. And so we, Sky Ranger 1, ready to land near crash site. So they didn't, they didn't repair themselves to be able to get off and fly away. Otherwise, I would have to send another um, interceptor out, hopefully to shoot him down again. But now the ship is probably repaired for the most part. So I'm going to be encountering um, a mostly rebuilt ship with probably, since this is the beginning of the game, three aliens will be out there. So let's see what I can do. Uh, you get to the game starts off with your combat mission starts off with um, you get you get um, all these different troops and you get to go through them and see what you want to equip them with right now I just have basic rifles grenades an extra clip nothing special one guy has like a grenade launcher type thing uh, actually some people are not even equipped with anything uh, that's because I bought several soldiers and I forgot to order uh, the weapon the weapons didn't come in, the soldiers came in first, the weapons shipment didn't come in, and that's another thing. So I don't actually have some soldiers, um, you know, if someone dies, he'll have to grab their weapon, which you can actually do in this game. So, let's go into combat. So this is what it looks like. Um, see, I totally forgot how to do this. Um, how do I move the camera? I forgot how to move the camera. Is it, is it these buttons? Is it W S? No. Okay. Uh, why is it still nighttime though? It's, it seems like it's kind of dark. Uh, hold on. Let me figure out how to move the map around. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. See, they have time units, and if I spend too many, he won't be able to shoot back if an alien sees him. Uh, but I really need to figure out um, figure out how to move the map around. Oh, it's just a mouse. Never mind. I didn't. I didn't think that would happen. But anyway, let's select our next troop. I think this is it. Yeah. So that that'll cycle through. You can either click on them if you see them, or you can cycle through. So the way I take uh, my troops out is usually. I surround the ship's perimeter, uh, make sure there's nothing outside. So let's let's take a look. There's nothing over here. He's not seen anything, right? There could still be something in the field, but probably not. Uh, so let's go to our next troop, and I want to get as many of them out as you can because, like I said, this is actually random. 
So out of some random window, as your ship is just landed and your troops are still in, he can shoot a grenade in there and kill all of your troops in like one turn. So you want to get him out and you want to get like a little perimeter going uh, with your troops facing in every direction. Um, so yeah, so you want to leave a little bit of time unit so he can still fire back in case any you know, shit goes down. So... So far, so good. Nothing really major happening. Let's get him out. You can actually get him to go into a sitting position, which is uh, helpful for accuracy. Uh, so right now, I kind of have a bunch of troops starting to bunch up up there. So what I'm going to do is probably get another guy out there and then stop, stop moving them. Uh, so much. Let's see, which way should he face? Probably towards that door. And some some troops have more time units, some have less based on their uh, abilities. They might be more accurate or something like that. So I think this is the end of the turn. Yeah. So now the aliens get their movement. Oh, please God. Oh, don't. Don't do anything. <sighs> So they're showing us what our troops, everything that they just showed us, that little segment where the alien moved, that's what our soldier, one of our soldiers saw. So right now he's in our sights. Let's see, and we can see a piece of their ship. Uh, you can move your view. I think this is, yeah, so we can see up, or he should be up here somewhere on the, there he is, so. We're going to click on our rifle, we're going to do, I like to do snapshots because you can get a few off and they're fairly accurate aim shot that'll take all of his time units and one hit might not kill him so let's go ahead and do uh, snapshots, see if we can get a hit on him. Miss. But we have to take him down, we can't just let a dude, uh, and we got him. So what I'm going to do now is zoom back down to for this view he's gonna go ahead and go in a sitting position because that's a uh, how do I get rid of that aiming reticle thing there we go and I'm gonna keep him there and I'm gonna start moving troops out into areas where I cannot see things and I'm gonna start to kinda move these guys out to a further perimeter and then make another circle around the ship secondary circle and then start moving them out again uh, so these guys are gonna start and I'll, pa I'll turn them into like little teams and hopefully that works out for me so this is the first combat mission of these super um, inexperienced troops let's move them out a little bit into this field so far so good sometimes you might want to turn them like uh, left or yeah, right click this way and that'll turn him towards that way and there and he just saw an alien so sometimes you might want to do a few turns um, just to make sure there's nothing looking at you so yeah he just happened to be in a particular view where he's able to see that alien right now so let's go ahead and do a snapshot and now we can have our other troops oh god Yes, so maybe maybe he'll get a hit on him. Nope, he missed. So what we're going to do is uh, put him into a sitting position if we can. No, we, I don't think we can. Uh, let's select our other troops. Let's see if he can see him if he turns around. Sometimes it says he can't, but if you saw him once, sometimes they'll still be able to take shots and get hits so let's go ahead and see if that works for us oh come on no line of fire come on. you just had a line of fire bro let's see if a different mode will let us have a auto shot yep there we go come on it's only 16 percent a shot oh, okay he's done so let's go ahead and cycle through our troops here and see if we can get someone to get a hit on him. 
Oh, this guy has a high ground. Let's see if he can do something. Um, go ahead and take a shot. Probably shouldn't be shooting them uh, from positions where it says that I don't have a target. Because most likely he'll miss. Now he's definitely damaged. That that'll take down that alien's accuracy and all that kind of stuff. All those stats are gonna go down. So it's a good thing we got a hit on him, but we really need him. You know, a good alien is a dead al alien, or whatever they said in Starship Troopers. So let's go back down, and we need to get this guy off the bridge of the sh fuck off the bridge of the ship, so I can get my other troops to move out here and take more shots at him. Because I definitely don't want to be... Oh, is there another alien that we're seeing? I'm not sure if it's another alien or, or she's seeing the same one that's making me really nervous. Uh, as you can see, the core of this ship, the engine, is still not repaired. So we still have a little bit of time. Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with just this one alien. Uh, let's go ahead and... And they changed, too. They got uh, basically... In this in this game, there's like a master race of aliens, and they take under them different types of aliens, like you know, dumber ones that are better troops and stuff like that. Ooh, I didn't want to hit his partner there. Come on, hit him! One more shot. Come on. Okay. Well, he's been hit twice, so we're gonna hope that that. Wow, if he throws a grenade this way, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, so let's go ahead and look this way. And, uh, snapshot. Yes. So basically, you want to get them off of you. You don't want them... Because if you can see them, that means they can see you, and their weapons are a lot stronger than mine are right now, so they will kill you in one shot. So my perimeter idea didn't work out because I've had to bring out a bunch of guys to shoot that one alien. So this guy is kind of, you know, someone could flank him right now. So we're going to go to next turn, but at least I killed two aliens. Uh, turn three now so he has time units now I'm gonna turn him back this way and start approaching that way there's a lawnmower that just started so let me stop recording and I'll come right back all right hopefully closing the door will dampen the sound of that lawnmower oh did the game just freeze no there it is okay so let's move out let's move this guy out here You do want to check every corner of the map. You do not want to just go straight towards the ship because they, there'll be a dude sitting there and just waiting for you to um, make a mistake. Not that the AI is super smart in this game. It's just that they're placed around randomly and that creates a lot of really interesting situations. A lot more than you would think. So let's face back this way and walk a little bit, see a little further that way. I know I should probably break them into teams and like be a little bit more organized, but I'm just... See, in, in the new game, it's a lot more linear. You get like this linear kind of map that you go through forward, and uh, it's more of a, like almost like an RPG than a decision, like, than a troop placement, you know, you know, game where it matters where you place your troops and watch out for these windows and... And someone's calling me. Uh, Alright, and back to the game. So, let's see what position we are in now. I definitely want a few guys maybe to start moving towards those windows. Make sure no one can flank me. So, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna start circling that house. Luckily, I bought a few new soldiers uh, to my team. I had eight. Initially, gives you eight, but they're pretty cheap to buy. So, I'm gonna take her and I'll support that guy over there. She'll use up a lot of time units, but I really want more support over there. 
Uh, next guy. Next guy. You want to pay attention to how many time units they still have left. Because uh, it's a turn-based game, so... Let's move these guys out. They apparently only have pistols because I forgot to uh, make the shipment uh, in time. And I don't want to really cluster them all that close together, so I'm just going to put the rest of these troops on the edge of the ship. Uh, let's just. That's good. That's good, and let's go to next turn. And this is by far the easiest type of mission you'll have. Sometimes you'll have citizens that are being killed, and you, the more of them you save, the better. Um, but you can't really, because the citizens are randomly placed. Just like in a real situation, they would be randomly getting killed by randomly placed aliens. You know, you. Um, so you try to save them because sometimes the aliens will have a certain type of alien that can turn them into these infected uh, things that makes it real. they have really strong armor and it's really hard to kill them so you gotta kill them as fast as possible. Uh, let's start going this way a little bit. I'm gonna have this guy keep staring into this uh, I want them to keep looking into that building. I don't want them. I don't want anything to open that door and shoot one of our guys. So I'm gonna not, not try to not overextend myself here. Uh, these guys still cannot see the edge of the map, so that's not good. And of course, there's a fly in the room now. How many time units does he have? Well, I'm not sure if he can actually. Yeah, there's no path there. He's gonna have to go around that. And look this way. Okay, these guys are pretty much used up. I usually keep them around half time units. Let's look that way. Nothing going on over there. You guys run over there. I'll keep him there. Keep him there. This guy can go over here. No. Nope. You guys get up to ship. Oh, he has no weapons, so he'll, he'll be one of the guys that picks up a rifle if anyone dies. Alright, let's turn four. I think that sound means they opened the a door at some point, so we gotta be careful. So I'm expecting aliens at some point. Okay, this guy is gonna go here, check that corner. Next guy is going to go here. I probably should have placed them a little bit better before I started moving them in. This really dangerous place. And he's going to be also going in here. So they're all looking in every direction once you go into an area. You want to make sure this guy's looking this way. And she'll be looking that way. Make sure, and then these guys or this guy's gonna go. Uh, it looks like that cornfield is safe, and so he, I'll start redirecting him towards this area and giving support. And she, she's gonna go alone, like in every bad like movie, and sh and clear this entire house by her or is that a him? I'm not sure. That's a him. He's gonna clear that house by himself because he's brave. Oh no, never mind. There's support, so they're gonna check those windows. Uh, let's 
face him towards the door so he doesn't waste time units on his next turn turning and this guy he's gonna start edging around this house first checking this window though nothing in there and it looks like I used up all my time units for everyone Oh, nope. Okay, you guys move over here. I'm gonna use five guys to storm, uh, storm the alien ship. And let's. I think that's it. Nope, that guy has a bunch of. I'm gonna have him start going inside that house. I feel like. Someone's gonna die in this mission, probably. Luckily, we already killed two, so it's not looking too bad. Uh, so I'm going to leave one guy guarding the door, basically. So in case they open up and come out of there, uh, she's gonna start moving towards the right, checking that corner. Uh, these guys are gonna start moving in this well maybe I'll just place them by the door so they can storm in there in one turn I want to be able to get at least three guys in there and this guy is gonna be as uh, too, too much clutter I don't like that many soldiers being in one place uh, so that'll work and this guy he's like a reporter he doesn't have a gun he's just there uh, you guys move up. Before I go inside the ship, I check I check all the surroundings, make sure there's not anything um, outside of it, and then I cluster everyone outside the door and rush them in. And I think that's the best way to do it. I could be wrong, but I think I've worked out pretty good strategies before. And eventually use alien technology and research it and your guys become uber powerful also. And then the aliens get really annoying when they start to uh, uh, be able to control your guys' brains and stuff like that. And they go berserk. And for anyone who's played this game will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's uh, maybe the most annoying things and uh, uh, first time it happens to you it's unbelievably annoying. and it's you don't really know how to deal with it. I actually never really figured out exactly how to deal with it except to kill super efficiently. I don't know. Or maybe there's some research lab that you uh I've actually I just realized I never actually beat this game, so I'm, maybe I'll do it on YouTube, I don't know. Making these videos. Uh so let's cycle through. If you can't remember whether you use a soldier's time units or not, you can cycle through them by using this button. Make sure you did use everyone to their fullest capacity. Oops. Everyone to their fullest capacity during your turn so you're not wasting anything. So let's go to next turn. And I'll just go in there now. Two aliens. Okay, so he has a grenade launcher. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this guy. It's the thing is, is you don't really want to shoot inside an alien ship because it's it, it's worth a lot of money. I mean, the engine is destroyed. The most valuable part is destroyed, and it killed two aliens with it. But you kind of everything that you destroy in there right now. Oh God, and he's gonna kill him probably. Oh, nope. Okay, so he actually has enough time units to get out of the way, and I'll be able to throw another troop in there and take a few shots, even though it's just a pistol. Um, snapshot. Let's do it. Do it again. Got him. And then I'm going to move him off to the corner, and then I'm going to move another guy in there. And, uh, just to make sure someone has enough time units to retaliate and move a little bit further up and see if there's anything around that corner. 
to retaliate if anything does come out during during the next turn and oh did I accidentally just cl oh, fuck. there's no back button I accidentally clicked and she walked out of there so that sucks um uh shit I highly doubt there's going to be anything else on this map because of uh, how many aliens I killed. It's already, there's been two dead ones in the ship, two, and I killed four. Um, so I doubt there's going to be anything in here, but you never know. So you want to check everything. You want to utilize everything you can before the mission ends. Uh, let's go ahead and see this guy. And these stairs are glitchy. Sometimes it's hard to get them upstairs and downstairs. So I don't like to do it, but you have to. So, um, Yeah, we'll go further this way so we can check, make sure nothing's there. I know I'm being kind of reckless by pushing them, but and that guy doesn't have a gun, so I shouldn't even move him. He might as well be a civilian. All right, so uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's do. Let's see if anyone's time units are still there. Oh, there was one guy. I'll just redirect him towards the ship in case there's anything else in there. Sometimes you go through missions, you don't lose one guy, and sometimes you lose a bunch of them, so. Uh, right. Oh, there's still an alien somewhere. I thought the mission was going to end. Okay, so let's do him. Oh no. Okay, so there's another one hiding right there. Auto shot. If you're that close, you might as well just blast. Uh, I can't see him. It won't target him. So can I go? No. How can I not see him? Oh, there he is in the corner right there. Okay, so he's gonna have to just move out of the way now. Hopefully, with no other aliens. And I'm just gonna have to take a risk here and. Snapshot. Come on, just kill him. Yes. See, storming ships is kind of the most difficult thing to do, and I should have been more organized about it. I should have searched the whole map first, but I get lazy and greedy, and I just want to get through the mission at some point. But. So let's get uh, check that corner guy with no weapon. Alright, so let's cycle through. See what we haven't used yet. Mm. Mm, okay, so these guys can totally get out of there now. Gonna send them towards the front door. You go upstairs. Uh, 
I think the mission is probably uh, just about over. It that might might very well have been the last alien. And that's the weakest one they have in this game is those uh, gray ones. All right, let's turn. And we win. So. UFOs recovered, aliens killed 5, score 52, aliens corpse, corpses recovered 7, alien artifacts recovered 21, UFO navigation, that's technology that wasn't destroyed from the engines blowing up, and, and we got alien alloys. All, the, all of this stuff we can research and build our own versions of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, thank you for watching, I'll be doing more uh, combat missions uh, for XCOM. Uh, UFO Defense is what this is called. I almost forgot. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.